Hey guys, it's Gosi Dreamer again, and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna to continue the videos on the XR Interaction Toolkit. I'm going to be focusing on the virtual reality side of things and adding a component that is going to allow us to teleport from one area to another area. Some of the components are gonna be shown in the video that I have behind me. I also wanna show you how to set up the XR rig from the very beginning, how to do the snap turn, how to add the teleporting provider, and lastly, the teleporting areas that we're gonna be using to teleport to the different islands. So let's jump into Unity and I start working on it. All right, guys, let me show you what I have by building this to my device. So I'm just gonna play and show you the demo. So I have the two controllers, one on the left side and one on the right side. And as I'm selecting the target areas, that means uh, that area I can actually teleport to. And that's what I wanna show you on today's video. I'm also doing a snap turn. So as you can see right now, I snap turn and then I'm going back to another little island. And then I can go back and use the control to select the teleportation target. One of the things that I had to do is I also need, needed to change the distance of the ray because some of those islands are pretty far. So I'm gonna show you how that works. So what I'm gonna do instead of, you know, building on top of the scene that I, that I built before, I'm going to start from scratch into another scene. So this one right here, it's going to be the, you know, the basic example that I showed you before. Let me go into scenes. So what I'm gonna do for this demo is we're going to be creating a new scene. So I'm just gonna go into here and then click on scene. This one is going to be the XR, we'll just call it XR rig teleportation. That way you can download it and test it on your own device. All right, so we're gonna start with, you know, with nothing on it. The, the first thing that we need to do is we need to right click in the hierarchy and then go into the XR and I'm going to select the room scale as a rig. And this is gonna give us a lot. This is gonna give us, and if you didn't watch the previous video, make sure you do watch it because I go into it. I'm just gonna show you pretty quick what it has. It has a XR rig, it has a camera offset, and then inside we have the main camera, the left controller, the right controller. On the left and right controller, I'm going to be changing the, the max ray cast distance. The, the reason for this is because I want to put some islands that are a little far out. And in those islands, if you don't change this, the raycast is not gonna be far enough to be able to teleport to those islands. So that's the first thing that we need to do. Then the next thing that we need to go to is we need to go into the, the XR rig and we need to add a couple of components. So one of them is gonna be the locomotion system. And this is going to ask you for the XR rig. And I did this on the previous video. And the other one that we're gonna need is going to be the teleportation provider. And as well here, we're gonna need to add the component, which is the locomotion system. And a lot of these ones, I think the system automatically will check if they exist on the same component, but I like to add them just in case. So just make sure that you, that you add those. So the next thing that we're gonna need to add as well, if you want to do the snap turn, I'm gonna add the snap turn and I'm gonna add the system as well. So the system is going to be the locomotion system. And that's everything that we need to do as far as components. We need to add a couple of controllers in here. So let's say that we want to do a snap turn on left and right, on the left and right controller. I'm going to go ahead and use and just, you know, populate the left controller with the first array item and then also the right controller. What this is gonna do is gonna allow us to snap turn with the left hand controller and also the right hand controller. The teleportation, it's going to require that we have some things in the scene so that we can teleport to, and that's what I'm going to be spending most of the time in this video is setting that up. So just to start, we're just gonna be doing some level design, and I'm just gonna find an island here that kind of looks good that we can, you know, that we can center. Let me go ahead and change this to zero, 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 and then I'm going to make sure that my 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 player, my extra rig, it's you know within the boundaries of the island, and we can probably do something like that works and then i'm going to just add a few more islands around but i'm going to use different island types so we can do can perhaps do that one there i'll just offset it we can add another one right here we can add another one on the back and yeah i think that works so the the next thing that i want to do let me just add a different one too so that it looks it doesn't look plain and boring so i'm just gonna do this one right here i'll just put it Perhaps this one we can't really go to, but we can see it on the horizon. So it just adds more diversity on the level design. Then I'm gonna add a new game object. This one is going to be called the environment. And I like to keep everything organized, so that's what I always create an environment game object so that I can put all the, all the environment game objects inside of it. 
So that's as far as that. I'm going to let's go ahead and add some clouds as well, so we can see, you know, the clouds right above us, and we can probably just go up a little bit more, something like that works. There we go. And then let's go ahead and add more variety. I'm going to go ahead and just add a few trees, rocks, and I'll just spend some time doing this and then continue the video as soon as I'm done with some of the level design. Alright guys, so I just finished the level design and I have a few islands and also the sky. So what I want to show you now is how we can add the teleport targets and how we can also do the rotation upon selection. So it's actually fairly simple. So I'm going to show you. Let's go ahead and start with this island. So if you look at the video, I show you there, there was a component in the middle of the island that I was able to select. So if we go down here and we can honestly select anything we like if we wanted to do something different. We could do we could do something different. So in my case, I just did this one and I just resized it quite a bit. So it's gonna do. Let's go ahead and do five, five, and five, and then I just change the basically the rotation of it. And if we go back, make sure that we're doing. We can just do negative ninety so that we can see the object, you know, the actual target in that position. And what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna place this. We gotta keep in mind how far we are, and that's why the ray cast I set it to 60, because that's going to be 60 meters away from from this object. So we should we should be close enough to be able to get there. So now that we have that selected, let's go ahead and set it up in a way that it's going to work. So the way that this works is as soon as I do a ray cast to this object, this object is going to is going to be rotating. So to be able to rotate that object, we're going to have to add a new component to be able to do the rotation and also the, to do the teleportation. So to do that, I'm going to click on Add Component, and then I'm going to add what's called a teleportation area. As soon as I add the teleportation area, you're going to see that the Interaction Manager is associated. I also have a few events that I'm going to need to use to be able to apply the rotation, and also some other components, whether you, you, know, you want to use the teleport trigger be on ex on select exit or if you want to match the orientation of the camera and then the teleportation provider which we don't need to set because it's already it's just smart enough to find it so the other thing that we're going to need to do here is we're going to need to populate the the object the property that is going to actually do the rotation and to do that i have a new component and that one i just it's called a rotator and it's a fairly easy component all it is is i'm doing a transformation on the on on basically passing in a, ve a vector so in my case i'm passing in a speed i multiply by the delta time and then the space is the world space and i have two methods that i'm going to be that i'm going to be using one of them is going to be the start rotation which sets a boolean to true and also a stop rotation which set the boolean to false which it's going to tell the system not to rotate anymore if this is false if this is true it's going to do the rotation so fairly simple so if we go back here and we now have the rotation, the rotation that I want to do is I want to do it on Y. So I'm just going to change this to Y. And then if we go into the teleportation area, we're going to look at the methods that I that I want to execute, well, that are going to be executed when the ray cast hits this object. So there are many things that are going to happen here, but the one that is going to be executed on hover, it's going to be on hover enter. So I'm going to add that and also the on hover exit. As soon as we let go of the of the line let me actually show you that on the video fairly very quick so you guys can see it so if we get around here you can see that right about here i'm not selecting anything but as i as the ray hits that object the object starts rotating and as soon as the ray leaves the object the object stops rotating so that's what we're going to be doing here we're going to start the rotation on the on hover enter and stop the rotation on the on hover exit so what I need to do is I'm just going to just go ahead and drag itself because that rotator component is in this object. Go into the rotator 
and then on hover enter it's going to call the start rotation and then on hover exit it's going to call the stop rotation. So now we have that component here and that should work for teleporting. That's really all we need to do. But what I'm going to do is I want to add a couple of more. So all we really need to do is just clone them for now. On. And if I want to teleport to this area, all we need to do is just add that object. And now I can teleport to that area. And now that I'm looking at this island, I think that island is really far. So we can just probably make it a little closer. I think it's just way too far out. And there we go. So if you look at the distance on this one is 3 to negative 3. And yeah, we should be okay within the boundaries of the raycast. And then lastly, if we want to go back, well, if we want to go to that island, we need to do one for that island. So I'm going to do one for that island as well. It's going to hit my, let's go ahead and v, hit my V key so that I can do a snapping on the on vertices. And I think that works there. And let me just move it down, maybe rotate it a little bit so it aligns with the island. There we go. And then if we want to go back home, which I didn't do in the original video, and I was like, I need to get back. So, so if we want to go back home, this is what we need to do. We just need to add one here. And in fact, we can probably just put ourselves right there. Move it. And then maybe this one will just bring down a tiny bit more. Scale it. Doesn't need to be perfect since this is just a prototype. And then something like that. Let me go down a little bit more. I say prototype, but then I like things to be really accurate. And yeah, it's just something that I that I always try to do. Okay, so that's honestly everything. That's everything. What I'm gonna do for these ones, I'm going to go ahead and call them teleport targets. That way, when you guys clone this repo from GitHub then everything is organized. I'm missing one and I think it's this one. Yep. Teleport target. And we can probably just make it singular since this is just one object, just multiple selected. And I think that, yep, and I think that's everything. So if you guys have any questions about anything that I just mentioned, please let me know in the comments. Thank you guys. All right guys, thank you much for watching today. I really appreciate your time. And if you have any questions about the teleporting system with the XR toolkit, please let me know in the comments. Also, be sure to check out GameDev.net because they have great resources for game developers. And also find me in Patreon.com where I'm basically posting what I'm doing behind the scenes and also early access source code. Thank you very much, guys.